Guillermo del Toro has to be the only storyteller you can count on to regularly deliver a cocktail of unsettling visuals, potent or daunting themes, and a childlike innocence which creates a deep sense of vulnerability to wherever his stories might be headed. He has created such powerful motion pictures that he has been nominated for seven Academy Awards and taken home three of those awards from the ceremony. The most recent of these comes from his 2022 stop motion musical, Pinocchio. Like some of his other work, this film introduces us to deep feelings of compassion, danger, and sorrow. And and bring symbolism and metaphor to new heights while giving us the heebie-jeebies. It's a house of horrors! But the most special thing about this style of filmmaking is its ability to bring real-world struggles into view. The original Pinocchio animated film was released by Disney in 1940 and was based on an Italian children's novel, The Adventures of Pinocchio. If you haven't seen it recently, it's also creepy in its own way. However, the story of Guillermo's Pinocchio took a different direction, while still giving notes of the original story. What Guillermo seemed intent on communicating was the pain and evil brought on by fascist philosophy and the importance of listening to your parents. And that's not an attempt at being funny. Guillermo truly drives home the importance of humility and recognizing that doing the right thing doesn't always mean doing what you want. But I don't want to! I want hot chocolate! And when these truths are pinned against a background as dark as post-World War I Italy, where Mussolini's fascist regime is placing an ever-tightening grip around the humanity of the people it controls, we begin to recall what it feels like to watch a Guillermo film, where fantasy is only one step from a startling truth, where authority figures are examples of love and evil, and we as the audience are bound to watch as the fate of certain characters' innocence hangs in the balance. No director makes us feel such a desperate sense of hopelessness as Guillermo del Toro, and his award-winning film Pinocchio is another meaningful tally on the scoreboard. Perhaps one thing we can take away from his voice in Hollywood is that however small our chances may seem to see our hopes realized, there is still good in the world and we can be a part of it. I'll try my best and that's the best anyone can do. <laughs> that's rather clever, isn't it?